here we are. Let's get ready to create an incredible camouflage pair of earrings just for you. Hey, you guys. So I um, remember last night I said I would come to you today. I know today is a no makeup kind of day. I um I have to finish painting today and I was like, what would be the point of putting on makeup? So I'm coming to you today. Who am I? I'm Garland of Price. And so we're going to be doing the camouflage earring that we talked about on yesterday. I'm a little undecided about which paints to use for the camouflage because so I remember I said I wanted to do something that was purple and green so my camo is going to be a girl camo right um because most camouflage is brown and green for military right but mine is going to be purple brown and green because I'm camo extra right so that's what we're going to be doing today mind you I'm going to ask for grace because I've never done a camo print before but I had it in my mind that I wanted to do this camo print design in addition to that I don't see my purple glitter on the table, but I want to add, here it is. I want to add some purple glitter to certain sections of the camo. So I don't know how this is going to come out, but hey, let's get it together. Let's do the tutorial together. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's tutorial where we made the taco everyday pin, taco day everyday pin. It came out really cute. I didn't glaze the back yet and I haven't trimmed around the edges just yet because I'm still debating on what I'm going to do on the front because you have to give a protective coating to paper or the stickers so i'm trying to decide if i'm going to use the mod podge or if i'm going to use the triple thick so i'm undecided on that but i will keep you posted and i haven't decided if i'm going to go get more stickers because i don't want to just be wasting three dollars if i'm not going to make more earrings with them um, or pendants, but it just sounds like a really great idea. So probably going to depend how far along I get on finishing up this house today that we're working on because I want to be finished. Our goal is to finish renovations on this home, which all is left is paint and a couple of other little doodads. Oh, because I own a, for people that are new, it's repetitive for everybody else, right? <laughs> but I own Fusion Properties LLC and I own Fusion Properties Construction. So that's what we're working on today because Saturday we start on a new project. We're going to be extend, doing a deck extension. When I say we, my husband, his assistant, I'm not going to be extending a deck, but I am going to get involved when it's time to do the bathroom remodel. Super excited about that. We're going to be tearing out the old shower, putting in a tile shower, um, just all kinds of stuff. So I'm thinking about sharing those videos on a different playlist and I'll keep you posted. So let's get to the things that you're going to need to do. I'm sorry, the materials and supplies you're gonna need for today's tutorial on these super hot camo earrings, okay? So what you're gonna need is of course, you guys, <laughs> if somebody were to ever ask me what is my favorite color, my favorite color is the entire rainbow. And I'm, when I see color, I'm very indecisive. Lord, you think I ain't had a bath, the paint didn't come up, but I have had a bath, right? So I'm really indecisive when it comes to paint selections and so even when it comes time to paint our personal home in the past when we paint it i'm so nervous when it's time to initially put the paintbrush on the wall because i'm like oh god what if we don't like it right and so with paint and when you're painting on wood of course you can paint over it it's not cement but i just have a perfection issue and i wanted to be perfect the first time so you're going to need paint in the camo colors that you love so of course we have our browns and i just picked a whole different a whole bunch of i'm sorry different colors of brown um, that we're going to go with for our camo. And so you can do as dark or light browns as you want. And then I picked some really great greens. Oh, and if I didn't mention, right, so Fayetteville, North Carolina is also home to Fort Bragg. We're right beside them, home of the 82nd Airborne Division. And so we are the largest military base in the United States. Super excited. Hoo Shout out to us, right? So, um, freedom lives here glory to god so this is where your military your largest military base is so that's filled before brag so this is the green so i said all that to say that we see camouflage all the time right because we see our military all the time and shout out to everyone that has served we love you we appreciate you in every branch of the military and may god continue to bless you and your families and so we're going to have different variations also of purple i hope that no one in the military feels disrespected i'm doing camouflage with purple because they do have desert camo and they have winter camo right now winter camo I, if i'm saying this wrong forgive me again i'm not military i'm a military um dependent or was when i was younger my dad is a retired marine but they have black and white camo and they have um different shades of brown camo and then they have brown and hunter green camo but we're going to do some girl camo today but then i've noticed right the the girl hunters don't they do like a camo with a pink so i'm good to go okay so these are going to be the colors that we're going with 
and I haven't decided on how we're gonna work and incorporate all that, right? Thank God. So today I cleaned out my paint palette. You're gonna need a palette of some sort or you can use a plate like I do if you don't have a paint palette. And you can get these really inexpensive, very relatively inexpensively at the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, or Michaels. Um, and you can get them as large or as small as you want. You are gonna need some wooden pieces. Y'all love wooden pieces. I think I'm obsessed with wooden pieces. But anyway, the only thing is it sucks when they have writing on them, but you can paint over that. You could do like a um, white base coat and then paint over it. So this particular bag has teardrops, circles, ovals, um, any type of rounded edge. And so we're gonna be using the really large um, earrings because similar to the ones I have on today, I want to wear and I wanna have a large camo pair of earrings. So I'm believing that I'm making these for myself, but I don't know. And I don't, I'm not sure that this is the brush I really want, but because I saw the way that you're supposed to do camo, I decided to use this brush. And so this is a crafter's choice brush and it's R9250. And it has a number eight on it. Of course, you're probably not gonna be able to read that because it's backwards and it's also not coming into focus. But anyway, so it's one of those brushes that has like a um, like an oval and a point. Here's another one that came in the kit or the pack with it. So you can see that they're kind of rounded. Well, that one has a lot going on. I don't know what's going on with that one. But these two are kind of rounded. So I chose, I was hoping that I had one that had shorter bristles so I could exercise more control. But what I did was I wet it. I have some water off to the side and I just wet it so I could exercise a little bit more control over it. So anyway, I'm rambling. We're gonna get to the point and get ready to put the paint in the palette and we're gonna make us some camo earrings. Okay, awesome. So we're getting ready to get started. I'm just gonna move a smidge bit closer. So we have all of our paints laid out. Of course, I probably got carried away, but nevertheless, I want what I want. So, <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna start with the purple. And so, my understanding of a camo design, I'm just trying to get us close enough to Gail, though. Let's see what we're going to do. Is that we're going to do a bit of a swirl motion. So something like that, which is why I'm not sure I want to use that brush or not, because just in case it doesn't pick up enough paint. So I'm probably going to pick up a fair amount of paint on my brush so that I'm going to, I want to be able to go back over it and touch it up because you know, you don't always get a great coat the first time. I mean, you get a great coat, but you sometimes you need a second coat for the, um, the paint to not show, I mean, for your design to not show through, for the wood to not show through your design. Sorry about that. I don't know why my words weren't coming out today. So I'm going to start with the first purple and I put it in the order of how I want to paint. And over off to the side, I have the paints in the order that I squeeze them in the tube in the event when I get ready to go back. It's not confusing them like, what color was that? So I'm dipping the paint in the purple. This is about how much I have on the brush. And I'm just gonna do a squiggle. That wasn't much of a squiggle, was it? So I'm going to do it on each one because I don't want to have to go back and figure out how did I squiggle, what did I do, where did I squiggle. So we're just basically doing as if we were making an S. So one, two, three. That's not an S, but you know what I mean. So left, right, left. So we got the purple one, and I'm not going to let it dry in between the next color, okay? So I did clean my brush off. Now we're going to the next color purple, which is this one. You know what I noticed they didn't use in their camo was some black. So we're gonna have to figure that out. I just thought about it. So I'm dipping in here and we're gonna do a squiggle. And we're gonna do a squiggle. Cleaning a brush, going on to the next lighter shade, which is the light purple. and we're doing a squiggle. This paint seemed a little thicker, the lighter pink color. So we're doing a squiggle. Left, right, left, right. 
Now let's just pray it comes out looking like camo, right? Y'all have a bruise on my arm. I ran into something the other day, but that thing hurt so bad. And I'm kind of yellow or light, so I knew it was going to leave a mark. So we're going to do left, right, left. Left, right, left. And we're just doing each one at the same time. There's no perfect way to do it, so don't overthink it. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. And I think I'm gonna do some black in between the squiggles that we have once they dry, so it really looks camo detail, but we'll see, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're moving over into the green. And these greens are really pretty, look at that one. So this one to me is like a Kelly green, but the color is by Americana Deco Art, and it's called Holly Green. Really pretty, like a Christmas tree green. So, we're gonna do left, right, left. Left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right. So it's not looking very camo light yet, but let's keep it moving. Left, right, left, left, right, left. And we're gonna overlap the colors as well, okay? So when we get to some of the lighter shades, we're gonna make sure to overlap. Yeah, my dog is like chasing squirrels and birds. He's about to have a fit. So next one, left, right, left. Those two are similar in color, but notice that we overlapped them. And even though they're similar in color, we're gonna keep going with them. Okay, so we're just moving on around the earring. So this is the next green shade and we're gonna overlap a little bit, okay? I may have to do something in between those two greens to kind of match them up. Not match them up, but give them some sort of separation. Left, right, left. And remember, we're trying to make everything similar in size or shape on each of the earrings. So because I made that one over there a little wider, we're gonna make that one a little wider. So right now, this is what they're looking like. We're gonna keep going. I know somebody is saying, that don't look like no camo. Well, child, let's pray it ends up looking like camo at the end. <laughs> so the brown is probably looking a lot like camo. We're gonna have to work on that purple over there, okay? So we have, oh, I love this color. So this really speaks camo, right? So left, right, left. Left, right, left. We're gonna overlap on the, to that green a little bit. And because some of the green picked up in the brown, I'm gonna rinse my brush off. So I'm doing my best to go a little bit faster. And I think what I'm gonna do too is I should have made the, um, uh -oh. I should have made the purple ones a little wider. So we'll see what we can do when we get over there, okay? Cause guess what, it's paint, not concrete. We're good, okay. So. Left, right, left. Left, right, left, right, left, left. Did y'all ever consider going in the military or any of you all veterans? I think that's really cool. My sister uh, was in the reserves and she absolutely loved the military. She was in the Army Reserves as a lieutenant. I think as a second lieutenant. First or second lieutenant. So next we're going on to our beige color right here. And what I'll do is I'll list the colors out for you. This really pretty wheat looking color is Desert Sand. Ooh, isn't that so camo-like? Desert Sand by Americana. Let's see, I need to make that brown spot a little bit bigger. So let's, oop. Okay, so left, right, left. Dress, right, dress because we're overlapping. I think that's what I wasn't doing right when I first got started. So it's starting to look more camo-like, okay? So let's do left, right, left. Dress, right, dress. Okay, we're gonna keep going. I believe that when we add the black, it's really gonna make it stand out when we do the black sections in between. I'm thinking that's the direction I'm heading in. 
But before I put down that next brown, I wanna go back and make our purples larger, okay? And I wanna make them overlap a little bit because I don't think I was camo-fying them at all, okay? So I'm making them a little bit larger. And I'm thinking also what I'm gonna do is some type of intersecting color between the brown and the purple. Okay. And y'all, I cooked early today um, because I know I'm gonna be out painting this evening and yesterday. Y'all, I ate out for the first time in what, two or three months? It was so gross. I won't even say what I had because I don't want to dog out any restaurants, but I'm like, ugh. You know, I think when you get used to your own cooking, that eating out is just gross. And I kept thinking Corona the whole time, right? And I'm sure that's probably something that a lot of people are going to be thinking that have been mainly eating at home and eating their own food. Plus my cooking is good, right? <laughs> So eating out other people's cooking, it's like, okay, you're going to have to step it up, right? Because I think sometimes we eat for convenience and we don't necessarily eat because it's good to us or good for us. Sometimes when we're busy, we just grab something. But a lot of times you can tell that no love, care, or concern went into the making of it. So we are now overlapping because remember I said we're trying to make it look more camo-like. So I'm doing the lavender one. I'm making it bigger. Doing some overlap. So. Let's do the darker purple one. And let's do some overlap on the green. I love the colors and I love the greens and the browns together. I think they look really, really pretty. What do you think? So I don't want it to end up looking like lines, just where we're going lines around the um the red around the round piece. So we're gonna figure out a way to camo this out. And I think what's gonna help us do that is adding some black lines in there. So I'm gonna make the greens wider and then we're gonna let this dry for a minute, okay? Okay, okay. And because those two greens are so, so similar, I'm gonna add something else in there. Because they were just too similar. So we're gonna figure that out too. Now, if you were gonna make camo and mix some camo, you know what else would be pretty? Ooh, it's like fiery oranges and red camo. I might do a pair like that, that sounds pretty. So, now we gotta figure out what to do with this green. Let me wash my brush off and I'll show you. We have to figure out what to do with the green right there because it's too close to the green right over in here. So, let me see what else I have on the table. I think that's too close to you. So I may overlap the brown there, the darker brown. I'm a little nervous about it, but we're gonna go for it, okay? I mean, not all the way over it, but let's see. So we're going in in the center. Didn't mean to pick up that tan, but since it's in there, honey, we going with it, we gonna leave it. So I'm gonna start filling in my camo and making gradations and variations of the color. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more brown down here cause I like it. I like how it's coming out. I'm gonna bring some more brown through here. And I know this may not be easy for you to dupli duplicate or repeat with my colors, but duplicate it and repeat it with your colors, okay? So now I feel like it's gonna start looking more camo. I'm gonna add some greens over here by the purples. I'm gonna do some brown over in here. 
so we can camo it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this section in <clears throat> with the brown over by the purple. We're just adding brown in here to camo it out. Don't drag your paintbrush too much. I'm dotting, okay? I'm not dragging because all this paint is super thick and it's wet, okay? So now what I'm doing is I'm starting to splotch it out so it looks camo. Now I want to start <clears throat> to add some green over in here to where the purple is. I think I'm going to go with the army green too. So literally all I'm doing is dot, dot, dotting, okay? Can I say that I'm in love? You may be like, I don't see no camo in there, but wait until we add the green, I mean, add the black. I'm personally in love with how it turned out. Now, if you're wondering how I'm gonna add the black, I think I'm gonna use a dotting tool. Please don't fall on my lap. Think right over in here, I'm gonna add some more of the army green just to break up some of this green in here. I'm also gonna add some brown. Clean my brush off. So this is my, if y'all want me to be in the military, I'm too old now, I'm 51. But <laughs> if I was gonna be in the military, I'd be like, okay, we gonna need to bling out these um out these uniforms. I was gonna say outfits, but they're not outfits, they're uniforms. But we gonna need to add some, um, some hoo to these outfits. We're gonna need to jazz them up just a little bit. So I'm gonna add just some light color in there. Again, I'm just breaking the color up to give it some pop. And I feel like over in here in this section, a little bit more green is needed. So I'm gonna do some camo green in there. I get carried away, but oh my God, I'm loving it. Okay, so. I feel like it's coming out really, really pretty. So, I think that I should leave it alone <laughs> and let it dry. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna add some black accents. Well, so first I need to go match up the other earrings. So let's leave that one to sit and dry. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna match up uh, then we're going to come back and we're going to add the black. So let me go get this one done. I'll be right back. Suspicious eyes. Okay, so my son is saying that this little thing I created has suspicious eyes. I think they're so cute. I showed you these on another video. Look, it's like a mom and daughter. <laughs> I think they're absolutely precious. I have no clue what I'm going to do with those yet. So that's just a random thought. So next, after these dry, we're going to add some black detailing to really camo it out. And then, of course, we're going to add some glitter in there to glitter it up. And I feel like there's one more little thing I need to touch up over here. Let's say. Want enough brown over here. I'm going to lift these up so you can see them. And my son said they look camo-like. So I, I said, listen, yes or no, don't lie. Right, he wouldn't lie, I'm joking. But I said, no, seriously, do you think they look camo? He said, yes. So... Let's get this light right. This light is not one to let me be great today, but I'm going to be great because what did I say, honey? We were born great, all of us. So they're going to dry. And I think they're looking pretty camo-licious, pretty camo-fied. And especially when we go and add the black, 
detailing in there. They're going to be camo fied out. So I'm pretty pleased with how they turned out for my first attempt at camo. Now, again, this is my variation of camo. You may have your own. Everybody's different, right? Ooh, but I love how mine turned out. I just got a little purple spot on the brown and I kind of like it. So let's add a little purple down in the brown for some brown for some camo down in the little purple area. I mean, why not? We already camoing it out. And then what I wanna do is add a little bit more brown right down there, match it up over there. And so also you don't have to go and try to perfect these and make a match up um, because you just don't have to do that. So I am, what I'm gonna do though, is over here in the green section and then I'm gonna let these dry and we're gonna come back. Right over in there, I'm just gonna add a little bit of purple spot just to kind of like tie it all together. I had to go through Fort Bragg yesterday, coming from a town outside. I was previewing some properties out of town for a client. I'm telling you, yesterday I was in the car all day. I didn't have any snacks. That's why I ended up eating out, eating late. Gross, gross, gross. So I'm gonna add a few little purple spots in there just to tie it together. Just a little bit of purple in there to tie it together. Just so uh, the purple and the um, the green side, they kind of marry each other, blend together, go into relationship. So super cute. I think I'm gonna add a few more purple touches. Because hey, these are our camo. This is um warriors for the Lord camo, honey, the army of the Lord. Why not? He said we can do whatever we want, be whoever we want. So we're going out here in full regalia and battle for the Lord. Let's do it with some cute camo. <laughs> right? Let's do it. Do it. So one more little pink spot. I'm gonna do down here. I'm gonna hold them up so you can see them. I'm not trying to make it perfect, I'm not trying to make it completely match up. I'm just doing what I think looks pretty to me. And the camo pattern is just a bunch of S's, right? Or swirls. So here we are. We're gonna let them dry. And once they have, they're really dry, we're gonna come back and we're gonna add some black squiggles in between. And I think what I'm gonna use is, I'm gonna have to find my smaller dotting tool. Let me see if I can find it right quick. Nip. Smaller dotting tool doesn't want to be seen. So I'll show it to you when we come right back so you can see what I'm gonna add the black with to the camera, okay? So let's get ready to finish up these gorgeous earrings. We'll be right back. Hey, you guys, so 24 hours has passed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we did give it time to dry. Look how super cool they look. Tell me that's not Camaliciousness. Oh my gosh. So now I'm really kind of torn as to whether or not I want to add the black or not, but I really want to add some dimension to the design. So if you're just joining us, oh, and I got to paint the back. So if you're just joining us, we're doing a camo-licious design and I decided to do a purple camo. My son actually found a camo print online that was purple. So I, was, I don't think it's military related though. But anyway, super excited to share this with you. And so I'm gonna go ahead now, the next products we're gonna need to finish it off is of course, you're gonna need some black paint. You know that my favorite black is by Anita's All Purpose Acrylic Craft Paint. It's in the color black because it just has great coverage. It goes on perfect the first time. You really don't have to do a lot of touch-ups with it, although I probably will. Then the next product we're gonna use, because I was really trying to decide if I was gonna do the triple thick, but I think that I'm gonna do, um, what is this? The Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, because when I was over painting the cabinets this evening, oh y'all, we are almost finished. I'm going to share a video with you of from beginning to end of what they look like and where they are now. Um, as soon as we get all the doors hung back up, we're almost there. And so I was watching a video and the young lady was talking about the dimension that um, Mod Podge adds. And I know that um, Diva Styles uses this as well. So I think I'm going to use this on these earrings and just see what the difference looks like of this and using the um, 
triple thick that I would normally use. So these are the new two new products we're introducing at this stage in the video. And of course, you already know I have the paint palette out. I've listed, I'm going to list every color down in the description box that I personally use, but I'm rambling. And then, oh, the other thing that you need is this little tool. So remember I showed you, I have a little ball tool that I use to make polka dots. You saw it in another video. If you didn't, I'll, um, I'll share that video here so you can see it. But each one of them has different points, right? So this particular one has a really fine dot point on the end. And then this one has like a small dot. And then the other dot tool that I use has like a um, chunkier ball. So I believe that, and you can kind of draw light with these. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Sorry, my phone battery was saying that it was getting low. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the paint on our palette. And you all, just a trick, and you probably already do this anyway, is once you have a lot of paint like this poured out and you don't want it to go to waste, what you can do is put it in a Ziploc bag and seal it up and it'll stay. It'll last probably for three to four days, maybe a week, right? Just depends on how much air is getting inside the bag. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on the, put the um, the black outline or details on the camo earrings. And then after that dries, I'm gonna paint the back. After the top dries, then we're gonna do dimensional magic. And these are gonna be hanging earrings just like this pair. So we got a lot of steps to do. So let me stop with the jibber jabbing and get going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the um, smaller, not the smallest ballpoint, but I'm gonna use the medium ballpoint, right? We've all heard that word before. And what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna pick anywhere in particular, but I'm just gonna go down here and I'm just gonna do like a zigzag. What I probably should do is try to follow an outline of one of the other camos, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna follow the outline of this beige one that you see me going over right now. So all you're doing is following the shape and the outline. And see, we're camoing it up. So we're just following shapes and outlines. And what's gonna make it look extra camo is just because we're overlapping a little bit on the color that's already there. And then we're gonna put some glitter, we're gonna bling it out, but at least that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. So look how it's starting to look military-ish. Well, not military, but like military fatigues. You know what I meant. I should have used the bigger, the larger ball, but my only thing is I don't want it to be that wide in diameter. So that's starting to look really good. Actually, it's really great. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of black because I don't want the black to be the only thing that kind of stands out. So instead of taking that black all the way to the end of the pink, I'm gonna go around the green pieces right here. I love it. So you can speed up past this if you want to so you don't have to watch me sit and do the whole thing, but I do wanna finish out at least one of the earrings and then I'll come back and finish the, then I'll go and finish the other one offline and come back and show you what they look like once they're finished and ready to start drying. What do you all think? Do you love it? No thumbs down, right? I, I'm hoping I have my thumbs down button blocked. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't think you can block the thumbs down button. But anyway, you know, everybody's not going to be a fan of everything. So you got to take the wheat with the tear. So anyway, I think it's coming out pretty cool. I love it. Y'all may hear my husband in the background. We're getting ready to eat dinner. We literally just got home from 
working on the home where I'm going to share with you the cabinet so you can see just the type of project we've been working on and I just think it's coming out really really pretty I think I don't think I know my clients gonna be going to be pleased we've been sending them update photos all along and we started flipping properties we did our first flip back in 2006 um, we've always done stuff together um, but we partnered with my sister and another guy on that particular property and what ended up happening was we ended up having to finish out the project, my husband and I, and so we worked really well together. We had to do, matter of fact, Mark, remember that we had to do the kitchen at that house too? Mm -hmm. We had to do the cabinets there as well. So look how super cool is that. So I'm gonna go finish adding the camo, the black to it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so listen, we're back. I had the chance to go through and fill all of them in OMG. Tell me you don't love, love, love. Does that not like not look like camo to you? Or of course it could look abstract as well, but in my mind, it's camo looking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that dry because I wanna be able to pick it up and touch up the edges. Like I'm gonna use a Sharpie marker on the edges just instead of using paint so that way it'll dry faster. But I just wanted to give you a peek of just how incredible they look. So. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. And I'm thinking that I'm going to do some other colors. I'm thinking I'm going to do some shades of yellow, orange, red, etc., etc. So because they're not dry yet, I don't want to run the risk of putting the Mod Podge or even attempting to put triple thick on them. So look what we have so far. So this is going to be part one. So part two, we're going to finish tomorrow because we wanted, we had pretty thick paint on here. As you remember when we were applying all the um, swooshes to get the camouflage print. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to let them dry overnight just so we make sure they get a great drying and their coat is secure. And then what we'll do is I'm going to paint the back in a little while after the front has had time to dry and I'm going to edge it off with some, with a Sharpie, if I can find a Sharpie, if not, I'm just gonna paint the sides the same color as the back. But I wanted you to see how incredible they have turned out so far. We still have a um, little bit of ways to go. So tomorrow, part two, stay tuned. We're gonna bling them all the way out. Talk to you soon. Stay tuned tomorrow for part two, where we're gonna add the dimensional magic, we're gonna add some glitter, and we're gonna bling these beauties all the way out and hopefully get them finished. Don't forget to like and subscribe.